Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix Call of Duty Black Ops 7 black screen issue or stuck on black screen problem on PC. So without wasting any time, let's jump to the fixes. Now before following any of the fixes, first check the system requirement of the Black Ops 7. So open the Call of Duty Black Ops 7 store page in Steam. Then scroll down and here you can see the system requirement. Please make sure direct X version 12 is required. SSD with 161GB must be available. Also take a note TPM 2.0 and secure boot is required. So make sure this two is enabled on your PC. So if your system meets this requirement, then you can easily play the game on your PC. Now let's jump to the fixes. The first fix is to Windows security users allow the game.exe file to the control folder access and firewall. So in Windows search type Windows security and open it then click on virus and threat protection scroll down then click on manage ransomware protection then click on allow an app through control folder access click yes to allow then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now to go to the game installation folder open program files x86 open steam open steam apps folder open common folder open call of duty hq folder now here look for cod exe file and then click on open to add it to the list again click on add and allowed up click on browse all apps also select this file and then click open to add it to the list now go back click on firewall and network protection click on allow an app through firewall then click on change settings then click on allow another app then click on browse now browse to the game installation folder so open program files x86 folder, open steam folder, open steam apps folder, open common folder, open call of duty hq folder. Now look for cod exe file and then click on open and then click on add. In my case it is already added. Again click on browse, select this exe file and then click open and then click on add. Now click on ok to save changes. Now go ahead and launch the game and check if a problem is solved or not. Now if you are using any third party antivirus program such as Komodo, Avas, Casper Sky, EVG, McAfee, Norton, Bitdefender then allow the game exe to your antivirus program as well. And if you are using any Malwarebat software on your PC then also allow the game exe to your Malwarebat program as well. Or you can simply turn off your antivirus program, Windows Defender and your anti-malware program and then play the game and later you can turn on your Windows Defender firewall antivirus program as well as your anti-malware program. Now fix 2 is to turn off HDR. So launch Call of Duty Black Ops 7, navigate to in-game settings, graphics, display. Now look for HDR or high dynamic range option and set it to off. If you find this option in the game graphics settings, then set it to off. And then relaunch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Alternatively, you can go to the window settings system display hdr and turn off the hdr and then go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not now fix three is to try windowed mode so launch call of duty black ops 7 click on this gear icon settings icon then go to the graphic settings and then display mode change it to windowed and then then click on apply settings and then restart the game and check if your problem is solved or not Fix 4 is to modify the game launch option. So you can try minus DX11 or minus DX12 or minus windowed. So open Steam, go to library, right click on Call of Duty and then select properties. Now in the launch options type minus DX11, close the tab, launch the game and check. If that doesn't work, then again go to properties, this time type minus DX12, launch the game and check. If it's still not working, then again go to properties and this time type minus windowed close this tab, launch the game and check. If it's still not working, then again go to properties, remove the launch options and follow other fixes mentioned in this video. Fix 5 is to update graphic card driver. So in Windows search type device manager and open it. Expand the display adapters, right click on your graphic card driver and then select update driver. Then click on search automatically for drivers, then close it and then go ahead, launch the game and check. If that doesn't work, then you have to perform a clean installation of graphic card driver. So if you have AMD graphic card driver, go to AMD website, 
if you have nvidia graphic card driver go to the nvidia website if you have intel graphic card driver then go to the intel website links are provided in my video description what you have to do you have to search and select your correct graphic card driver version and reinstall the latest version then you can relaunch the game and check if your problem is solved or not so i am showing the example of nvidia graphic card driver so go to this website and once you are on this nvidia website you have to enter your driver version over here then select windows operating system and then click on find now you have to download and install geforce game ready driver so the latest version is 581.80 so whatever is the latest version you have to download and install it so click on view then click on download and once this exe file get downloaded then you have to run the downloaded exe file and select yes to allow and then click ok you will see this screen click on agree and continue then select custom advanced option and then click on next then tick mark perform a clean installation box and then hit on next and after the clean installation of graphic card driver is done restart your pc and then launch the game and check now fix 6 is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder or try running the game in compatibility mode so open steam go to library right click on call of duty and then select manage then click on browse local files it will open the game installation folder now right click on codexe file and then just click on run as administrator and see if that helps or not if not then click on properties go to the compatibility tab check mark run this program as an administrator hit apply ok then launch the game from here from the game installation folder and check if your problem is solved or not if not then tick mark run this program in compatibility mode for windows 8 hit apply ok then launch the game and check if it's still not working then from drop down select windows 7 hit apply ok and then launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not if it's still not working then click on disable full screen optimization option as well and then hit apply ok then launch the game from the game installation folder and check if your problem is solved or not if it's still not working then untick all these boxes from the compatibility tab hit apply ok and then follow other fixes mentioned in this video fix 7 is to verify the game files so open steam go to library right click on call of duty and select properties go to the install files tab then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification has been done then you can launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not fix it is to run the game on dedicated graphic card so in windows search type graphic settings and open it then click on add desktop app now go to the game installation folder open program files x86 folder open steam folder open steam apps folder open common folder open call of duty hq folder and then select cod exe file and then click on add so it is already added what you have to do you have to just expand it and then here select the high performance and then go ahead launch the game and check if a problem is solved or not there is also another game exe file that is located as program file x86 call of duty retail cod exe file also select this file and then select high performance and then go ahead launch the game and check if a problem is solved or not Fix 9 is to rename or delete the Activision folder in App Data. So open C drive, open users folder, open your username folder, then open App Data folder. Now if you don't see the App Data folder over here, then click on this view, show and check mark hidden items. Then open App Data folder, then open local folder and here you can see the Activision folder. Now first copy this folder and paste it to desktop to keep the backup. And once you have the backup, right click on it and then click on rename and then rename it to any name and then go ahead launch the game and check or you can simply right click on activision folder and select delete to delete it then go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not fix 10 is to install visual c files so go to this microsoft website link is provided in my video description and once you are on this website scroll down and download both the x64 and x86 version you have to download both the version now first install the x64 version so click on this x64 version first now if you see repair option then click on repair and if you see install option then click on install and install it then click on x86 version if you see repair option then click on repair and if you see install option then click on install and install it and then just restart your pc once and after your pc restart go ahead launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not next solution is to run battle.net 
or Steam as an administrator. So in Windows search type Battle.net and then click on run as administrator and then launch Call of Duty Black Ops 7 and check if your problem is solved or not. If you have the game on Battle.net and if you have the game in Steam then in Windows search type Steam then select run as administrator and then launch Black Ops 7 and check if your problem is solved or not. Fixed well is to enable disable overlay. So open Steam, go to library, right click on Call of Duty, select properties and disable the enable the Steam overlay while in game. So disable it, then go ahead, launch the game and check. If that doesn't work, then again go to properties, enable it and then launch the game and check. Disable Discord overlay, launch Discord on your PC, then click on gear icon in the app bottom left corner. Click on game overlay on the left panel and then toggle off the enable in game overlay. Disable NVIDIA overlay, open NVIDIA GeForce Experience Settings General, turn off in-game overlay. Similarly, disable overlay in all apps or close all other overlay apps such as GeForce Experience, NVIDIA Shadow Play overlay, AMD overlay and then launch the game and check. Fix certain is to close the conflicting or unnecessary program. So disconnect external USB drive, mouse, disconnect additional joystick, controllers, multiple monitor connected to your PC, unplug the Logitech or Thrustmaster racing wheel, and the task for Afterburner, Riva Tuner, HW Info, Razer Synapse or MSI Dragon Center from Task Manager. Close all of the tabs to free up RAM and then relaunch the game and check. Fix button is to update Windows. So go to Windows Settings. On the left click on Windows Update. And then click on Check for Updates. And if there are any updates available, then download and install them. And then just restart your PC once. And after your PC restart, then go ahead, launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. Fix 15 is to unplug external devices such as Hotas, Pedals, Racing Wheel, Razer, Tatras. Disconnect all the additional USB adapter connected to PC. Disconnect additional joystick controller connected. Disconnect VPN. Disable overlay. Close all the overlay apps I have mentioned earlier. Close all the overclocking application MSI Afterburner, Riva Tuner. Turn off Razer Synapse, Razer Lighting Effects, and MSI Dragon Center mentioned earlier. Close Corsair software, close third party services such as Nahimic services, lighting service.exe, etc. in Task Manager. Remove the Undervolt and then go ahead, launch the game and check if your problem is solved or not. And the last solution is to uninstall and reinstall the game. Now, if nothing seems to work, then simply uninstall Call of Duty Black Ops 7 from your PC, then restart your PC. Then reinstall the game to C drive, SSD drive. If already installed in C drive, then try installing it to another SSD drive and then check if your problem is solved or not. So by this way, you can easily fix Call of Duty Black Ops 7, black screen issue or stuck on black screen problem on PC. So that's all for this video. If this video helped you, then please like and subscribe to my channel. Share this video and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thank you.